I'm going to finish the rest of this without Toby. He got just a little bit restless. What I'm saying is, it is possible to pray in the will of God and not know it. And if we know it, it's wonderful. In fact, John said in 1 John 5, 15, if we know that he hears us, we know that we have what we've asked for. So the point is, it's great to know that you pray in the will of God. Well, the Lord's Prayer is that for sure. So if you ever want to know whether you're praying the will of God, pray the Lord's Prayer. It is an amazing prayer. I can tell you that I pray it every day, have done for years. And on most days, when I'm home and Louise is with me and are able to travel with me, whenever we're together, we pray the Lord's Prayer together, out loud, every day. And I'll tell you something, the older I get, and the more I pray that prayer, the more amazed I am at its contents, just to know that God gave it to us. And this is the way he wants us to pray. Now, it's not the only way to pray. After all, there's not one time that the Lord's Prayer is repeated in the New Testament. Jesus said, when you pray, say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The only time we have it is twice in the New Testament, that is, in Matthew 6, in the middle of the Sermon on the Mount, Luke 11, when the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. And when he told them how to pray, you might have thought that this is the way you're supposed to pray from now on. But in all the prayers in the New Testament, you don't have the Lord's Prayer. Well, does that mean that we are supposed to pray it word for word? I do it once a day. I think so. When I was at Westminster Chapel, we prayed it publicly every Sunday morning. It's a wonderful thing to do. Funny thing this, I did not l learn the Lord's Prayer in my home. I was brought up in a godly home. <laughs> I can't remember ever that my parents led me to pray the Lord's Prayer. And I'll tell you something else. Didn't learn it at church. You would have thought, surely. Nope. I never learned the Lord's Prayer at church. Where do you suppose I got it? In school. In Ashland, Kentucky. In those days, a teacher could pray, read the Bible, and we all said the Lord's Prayer. That's where I learned it. It's wonderful that people know it. You should memorize it. You should know it backwards and forwards, if anything. But here's the thing. Though it's not the only way to pray, it's a pattern prayer. And when Jesus said, pray these words, our Father who art in heaven, there's a hint we should address God as our Father. And when we know that he's in heaven, it's just a reminder. It's a reminder, we are on earth, he is in heaven. I think of that word in Ecclesiastes, God is in heaven, you are on earth, let your words be few. Well, the Lord's Prayer is very brief, you can pray it in about, what, 30 seconds? But the pattern is amazing. And it's a reminder that when you pray, you don't just rush into the presence of God, snap your finger, put your request, but no, you pause to worship. I'll end here for today. And on another occasion, I'll continue in our examination of the Lord's Prayer.